A moose was stuck in an active railroad trestle bridge. Rescuers sedated him and got out. They relocated him to a safe area where it could return to the wild with minimal injuries. It's great to see that it ended well for those involved and for this very fortunate moose. The dog was stranded on a half-frozen lake. A drone operator had been keeping an eye on the little guy. When these two jumped in their canoe, it took an hour to get her in. She got on shore unharmed, but stressed and very hungry. Rescuers are trying to find her owner. This cute doggy needs her family. But I'm sure she won't last long, because somebody will take this sweet girl to a new home. Sultana is a seven-day-old orphan gray-headed flying fox who was found on the ground on the body of her mother. It was so sad to see. But luckily, little Sultana has survived, being insulated by mom's fur. Initially, she was miserable, agitated, and stressed. When the baby was three months old, she went into a crèche aviary, where they joined other orphans. When she got emotionally and physically ready, she flew out with the wild bats. Our Sultana can come back and be fed every time she wants to. It sounds like a perfect batty life. An escaped chimpanzee fell off an electricity pole in northern Japan. This guy was probably bored in the zoo. He decided to get a little fun in the city. But when he had fallen, it was hurt for him and not funny at all. The chimpanzee was on the loose for over an hour before climbing an electricity pole. Now this boy will get to have fun with his monkey friend rather than an electricity pole. This blogger Python Cowboy has been trying to catch the mama raccoon with babies from a leasing office. She's feisty and ballsy, and that can be dangerous. So his task is to move her from there and find her babies. But she walked right past the trap and didn't even touch the bait. It was a difficult challenge to find the babies, but he could do it. There's such cute little fellas. The rescuer got all the brothers and sisters together in a backpack. He tried to still find Mama and lure her in with the babies. The rescuer was able to locate the baby raccoons and successfully get them out of the attic. But the Mama raccoon is still on the loose. We have a feeling she'll be back and we will square off once again. So good luck to this rescuer team and the little raccoon family. The poor deer got stuck in a fence. It was so uncomfortable and stressful for this guy. A man noticed that and freed him. What an adventure for him. A baby bear was found with burn injuries from a wildfire. The poor boy suffered burns on all four paws. It was so sad to see. The baby was in pain. His paws had been bandaged with gel to help soothe the pain and promote healing. Tamarack was being kept in a big and cozy space with a warm bed and a huge teddy bear to keep him company. As his wounds heal and he gets more comfortable in his new surroundings. But the bear escaped his enclosure and managed to tunnel under a fence. The photos of him were encouraging as he is alive and able to climb trees. So that story has a happy end. Montpellier is an adult male bat who got trapped in a pool enclosure. It's quite difficult for bats to get out of enclosed places. Look, the spider's freaking webs everywhere. I hate spiders. Okay, come on. Come on. Swim. Come on. 
where they can't climb high enough to be able to fly. Montpellier was a sufficiently calm boy. Probably he got so tired unsuccessfully trying to get out. He's doing fine in care and didn't damage anything other than his pride. Now this little Batman is completely recovered and ready to return to wildlife. He's just a lucky guy being noticed in the pool. Keep your good luck, Montpellier. A sloth on a road all alone and helpless got rescued by a man. People stopped to help. The sloth seemed so calm and peaceful, but it was dangerous for him to be there. But in sloth style, he was still calm and peaceful. He got a lot of attention. He felt like a superstar. It's a story about a poor dog who got stuck in a grain waterfall. Strong water flow prevented him from swimming out. It was also dangerous to help him. Four people pulled hands towards him, holding each other, risking their lives. After several attempts, they could do it. There was so much joy and applause after the successful rescue. It is so heartwarming. A Martin wanted to cross the river, and it was hard for her. A boatman decided to help her. She was so glad to be near the shore that she could not restrain herself and jumped ahead of time. Bye, little Martin. The poor turtle got stuck in a fishing line. She couldn't move and returned to the sea to her family. The fishing line was wrapped around her neck and it was hard for her to breathe. It was hurtful and stressful for her. And finally, after days of heavy breathing and immobilization, she was able to freely swim back out to sea. People around applauded with happiness. Animals can get into different trouble, and only humans can help them. Are you inspired by these stories as we were? Share in the comments which one was most exciting for you. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you later.